try for a moment to wonder about the infinite variables that have all come together in a chain of blind luck to land you in front of the screen at this very moment. For you to exist at all is a coincidence. Had your parents not met, or had that one particular sperm out of a 100 million not fertilized that one egg, you would not have been born. Seems kind of unsettling, doesn't it? But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Because just like mankind, the existence of Earth, in the grand scheme of the universe, is also no more than just a happy accident. Indeed, our planet is just the right distance from the Sun, has a core that's just radioactive enough to keep spinning and provide a magnetic field, a moon that's just big enough to stabilize its rotation, an ozone layer that's just thick enough to shield us from radiation, and is located in a safe harbor in the smack middle of two violent spiraling arms of our galaxy, the Milky Way. If any of these variables would have been different, the Earth and mankind would never have existed. But as is far more common in the universe, other planets haven't been so lucky and are far from the dream of supporting life. And many of them are bizarre enough to make even the most seasoned astrophysicists gape in awe as they mock the laws of physics and raise more questions than answers. What are some of these planets and what would you have experienced if you were on one of them? Let's have a look. Welcome to Star Extreme, there is a little space for everyone here. Korat 7b, two hells in one, located in the constellation of Monoceros, which is about 489 light years away from Earth. The two sides of Koro T7b are as different as night and day, literally. The planet is 60 times closer to its parent star than we are to our sun. And as if that wasn't enough, it is tidally locked, which means that it revolves around its parent star the same way our moon revolves around Earth, i.e. with one side perpetually facing towards the light and the other side facing away, engulfed in darkness. Well, we can all guess how this story ends, can't we? Korat 7b's sunny side reaches a sizzling 4700 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to melt and vaporize rock, cause pebbles to form when they condense, and rain down in a violent rocky hailstorm. But if you're stuck on the other side of the planet, you're sure to get something of a frostbite, because the dark half of this two-faced planet can reach a mind-numbingly low 392 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. Gliese 436b, ice on fire. This planet is one of the most exotic contradictions that we know of and has repeatedly managed to leave many scientists speechless. It orbits a star located in the constellation of Leo and sports something never seen before, fiery ice. You heard that right? Gliese 436b is a mere 2.5 million miles away from its parent star, which is too close for comfort, yet has an icy surface which not only doesn't melt, but remains perpetually on fire. This is because even though the heat melts the ice momentarily, it is pulled right back into solid form because of the strong gravitational pull of the planet's core. In other words, the ice is not allowed to melt. This leaves the planet covered in ice which is enveloped in flames for eternity. 55 Cancri E. Diamonds are forever. If we added up all the wealth that ever existed, it would be like a drop in the ocean compared to the value of this planet. That's right. 55 Cancri E, which is twice the size of Earth and is located about 41 light years away in the constellation of Cancer, is famous for one thing. About one third of the planet is diamond, which has resulted from atmospheric carbon reacting with the heat and pressure from its parent star. What's that worth, you ask? A pretty big chunk of change, to be honest. Around $27 no nillion. That's 27 followed by 30 zeros in case you're wondering. To put it into perspective, our good old Earth's GDP in 2019 was about $142 trillion, which means that the diamond planet is worth about 200 quadrillion times more than the Earth's GDP, and a mere 0.2% of the planet's diamonds would handily pay off all the debts held by our world's governments. Trees to be Vantablack. Vantablack, invented in 2014, is one of the darkest substances known to mankind, which absorbs up to 99.965% of the light which falls on it. But there's one planet which has been doing pretty much the same thing for a few billion years, TRES-2b. Located about 750 light years away from our solar system, in the constellation of Draco, 
TRES 2b is the darkest planet ever found and reflects less than 1% of the light which falls on it. In fact, it is so dark that it is a miracle we even found this planet because its light was so scarce. However, it is still a mystery as to why the planet is so, so dark, a mystery that may never be solved. This raises an important question. How many planets have we missed simply because they're too dark? And are some of them closer to the Earth than we think? HD 189733b, it's raining glass. Located 64.5 light years away from Earth in the constellation of Volpecula, and perhaps one of the most interesting planets on this list, HD 189733b, is a planet on which it rains glass. Sideways, at seven times the speed of sound. You heard that, right? This hellish planet's winds can reach up to 5,400 miles per hour, causing its strange precipitation to fall sideways. A silica-concentrated atmosphere causes the planet's clouds to rain molten glass, which hardens as it falls. HD 189733b's wind pushes the glass at such speeds that the shards fly through the air horizontally, slicing up everything in their path. So the next time you're splashing about in the rain, take a moment to savor it, because you're lucky that it's water falling from the sky. Kepler 16b, the real-life Tatooine. Remember the planet Tatooine, which was home to the legendary Luke Skywalker in Star Wars and revolved around two stars which spun together to form a binary star system? What if we told you a planet much like that actually exists? Kepler 16b, located 200 light years away, in the constellation of Cygnus in our very own Milky Way galaxy, is a planet which revolves around a binary two-star system, much like Tatooine. But hold your horses, you won't find any Star Wars droids here. That's right. Although it may look like Tatooine, Kepler 16b cannot support life. This is because its atmosphere is composed of hydrogen, methane, and small amounts of helium. Wasp 12b, the egg. This planet is almost as dark as Tres 2b, but that's not its most bizarre feature. Located about 1410 light years away in the constellation of Auriga, Waspy 12b is about 1.8 times bigger than Jupiter and is too uncomfortably close to its parent star, only a mere 2,115,000 miles away. The gravity from its parent star stretches this planet into an elongated oblong shape, like an egg. The planet is estimated to have only about 10 million years to live, as it gets ripped apart and consumed by its parent star at a rate of about 189 quadrillion tons every year. 10 million years may seem like a long time, but is relatively quite a short life for planets in space. By comparison, the Earth is about 4.5 billion years old. Gliese 581c, living on the edge. About 20 light years away, in the constellation of Libra, sits a planet which is quite similar to the hellish two-faced Koro T7b. Known as Gliese 581c, this planet is also tidally locked with its parent star, with one side experiencing scorching heat and the other side frozen in sub-zero temperatures. However, there's one difference between the two planets. Astronomers have theorized that much like Earth, it has the potential to support life. How is this even possible? The answer is equally surprising. Between the two extreme weathers of the planet sits a narrow strip of land called the Terminator Zone, in which the temperature may be just right to support life. Wasp 17b, the Big Puff. This one is a bit of doozy, as it has more than one surprise to spill. Located in the constellation of Scorpius, about 550 light years away from Earth, Wasp 17b is a complete anomaly. So much so that we can't figure out why it behaves the way it does, or why it is the way it is, as it is unlike any other planet that we've studied. So what about this planet is so strange? Well, for starters, it's twice as big as Jupiter, but only half its mass, which renders its density quite low for a planet of that size, which is why it is known as a puffy planet. Secondly, and even more strangely, it's the first planet ever discovered which revolves around its parent star in a retrograde orbit, meaning in a direction opposite to the rotation of its host star. 
The discovery of this planet challenged a lot of theories which were traditionally upheld by astronomers and scientists alike. Gliese 1214b, the water world. Remember the water planet from the movie Interstellar? This one is quite similar. Located about 48 light years away in the constellation of Ophiuchus, Gliese 1214b is a huge water world thrice the size of Earth, in which water contributes to 10% of its mass. By contrast, Earth's water contributes to only 0.05% of its mass, so we can guess what would happen if we decided to go for a swim on this planet. Gliese 1214b is thought to have oceans reaching depths of as much as 1,600 kilometers. To put that into perspective, the deepest point in the Earth's oceans is the Mariana Trench, which is only 11 kilometers deep. Needless to say, as a species who have just explored about 5% of our own waters, we cannot even begin to imagine what horrors may lie within the depths of this ocean planet. Did I miss any other bizarre planets? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Star Extreme. There is a little space for everyone here.